Hello everyone, I'm Travis. And I'm Nicole. And let's get Wanderlust. On our recent cruise aboard Wonder of the Seas, we purchased the Ultimate Dining Package. This package allows you to experience all the specialty restaurants on board as many times as you would like. We paid roughly $200 per person for this package, but you can also apply any of your onboard credit to it as well. We ended up trying every single specialty restaurant on board except for 150 Central Park. First up is Mason Jar. Mason Jar is Royal's new restaurant concept, which is Southern food. Currently, it is exclusive only to Wonder of the Seas. We actually ate at Mason Jar twice, once for dinner and then a second time just for apps. to the mason jar for dinner we had the following appetizers we had the lobster and crawfish gumbo the smoky deviled eggs and the blueberry johnny cakes that were topped with pulled pork at mason jar they start you off with the house-made buttermilk biscuits and jalapeno sweet cornbread both are very good nicole ordered the mint julep for our main courses i ordered the chicken pot pie and nicole ordered the shrimp and grits for dessert, we had the chocolate pecan pie and the bread pudding. We did, however, really enjoy the appetizers enough that a few days later we went to the mason jar for like a snack and we had the pimento cheese, the biscuits, and the deviled eggs again, all of which were really good. Overall, we really liked the mason jar restaurant and we wouldn't be surprised if we ended up on more ships. We would recommend you try it if you're on Wonder of the Seas. Just maybe don't order the chicken pot pie. Next up is Azumi. Azumi is a Royal Caribbean staple and is on just about all of their ships. This was our first time trying Azumi and we really liked it. We ordered the shrimp firecracker spring rolls which are not pictured and the pork dumplings for our appetizer. For our main dishes, I ordered the spicy crispy shrimp roll and the futomaki roll, while Nicole ordered the snow crab and salmon dynamite roll. For dessert, we had the mochi ice cream and the chocolate lava cake. The spicy crispy shrimp roll was our favorite dish that we ordered, but just about everything else we ordered was good, and the service at Izumi was excellent. Overall, Azumi is a really good sushi joint, and it's even better that it's on a cruise ship. We're already planning on trying it on our future cruises. Up next is another Royal Caribbean staple, Chops Grill. We felt like bad Royal Caribbean cruisers because before this trip, we had never eaten at Chops. With the Ultimate Dining Package, we decided to give it a try, and we actually loved it so much that we ate there twice.
for starters, we had the crab cake and the wedge salad. The wedge salad I ordered for my starter was probably the best wedge salad I've ordered at any restaurant. Our main courses were the filet and the ribeye. The steaks were cooked to perfection. If you couldn't tell by what we ordered, Chops is a traditional steakhouse and it is excellent. For dessert, we had the chocolate cake and the apple pie. And the desserts were incredibly delicious. As I said earlier, we liked it so much that we had to go back a second night. If you're taking a cruise with Royal, you have to try Chops Grill. Next up is Hooked Seafood, which is a traditional seafood restaurant aboard Wonder of the Seas. Hooked is the restaurant that I wanted to eat at on Wonder of the Seas more than any of the others. You're on a cruise ship, you're in the middle of the ocean, seafood, it makes sense. Plus there's lobster, who can refuse lobster? For starters, we had the jalapeno cheddar biscuits, the crab and shrimp chowder, the fried soft shell crab, and the Maryland crab cakes. I know that's a lot of starters, but everything on the menu sounded good and we had to order a few of them. The chowder had shredded crab meat and it was great. The soft shell crab was also really good. For the main course, we got the captain's platter and the main lobster. Both of those dishes were incredible and well worth the trip to Hooked. For dessert, we got the chocolate brownie and the lemon tart. The chocolate brownie was decadent and the lemon tart was very lemony. It was actually really good. Like I said, Hooked was a restaurant that I hyped up in my head that I had to try and it didn't disappoint. We really enjoyed it and I would recommend you try it as well. Next up, we have Wonderland which is exclusive to Royal Caribbean. Wonderland is known for its imaginative menu where they take everyday dishes and elevate them into fine dining. Wonderland is a two-story venue with beautiful decor and an Alice in Wonderland theme. We had seen this venue on other ships that we had been on and we're really looking forward to trying it. To start off, you are given a blank canvas that you then paint with a paintbrush and water to reveal the menu. To start off, we had the potted shrimp, the bird's nest, which is basically deviled eggs, and a crispy crab cone. Next was the citrus seas, which was tuna with a citrus sorbet and liquid lobster. For our mains, we had the short rib, and the chicken and the egg. The highlight of this meal was the dessert with the forbidden apple and the world, which is a peanut butter and chocolate 
dessert that they melt right in front of you. Overall, I would say that Wonderland is definitely an experience that you should try, but I'm not sure if the food exactly lives up to the hype. Next we have Giovanni's Italian Kitchen, which is a slightly different version of the Giovanni's that you would find on, let's say, Oasis of the Seas or other ships in the Royal Caribbean fleet. This version of Giovanni's Italian Kitchen is much better than the previous versions that we've tried on other ships. The revamped menu makes this a can't miss if you have the specialty dining package. For starters, we had the calamari, the gigantic meatball, and the caprese. The meatball was exceptional, and the caprese had some of the best burrata that we've ever had. The calamari was good as well, but I wish it was the calamari rings and not sticks. For our mains, I had lasagna, and Nicole had the chicken parmesan. The lasagna I ordered used cottage cheese instead of ricotta, and it gave it a very unique flavor. Nicole's chicken parmesan was cooked to perfection. For dessert, we had the cannoli and the tiramisu, both of which were good, but not our favorite desserts on this trip. Overall, we enjoyed Giovanni's. We got a ton of food and needed a nap after eating most of it. If you're looking for delicious, rustic Italian food on your vacation, you really can't go wrong with Giovanni's. All in all, Wonder the Seas has some really great specialty restaurants, and the specialty dining package that we purchased was definitely worth the money. If you're on an Oasis class ship that has plenty of specialty dining options, we recommend getting this package. Some of the smaller ships though that don't have as many restaurants, you may want to consider what restaurants you're going to eat at versus how much it actually costs to have the package. We definitely got our money's worth with this package on Wonder the Seas. So much so that we didn't even eat in the main dining hall. If you're on this beautiful ship, we recommend you also get the specialty dining package and try some of these amazing restaurants.